um, sorry, in the first breakout session. And we're about to move into the first plenary session, uh, which will be followed by questions. So for those of you who are um, chomping at the bit to raise questions, uh, keep a mental note of them for a few more minutes because we're going to hear from four different perspectives on this whole question of integrated management and the PENSEMA uh, from four people who represent each of those four perspectives. And although you've got an agenda there that, that has their names, it doesn't have all the right names because we've made some changes and we've even made some changes to the order in which they're going to appear before you. Um, and perhaps I'll just let you know now, uh, Al Huddleston, who's immediately to my right, is going to talk about uh, the municipal and, and uh, regional district perspective. Uh, he'll be followed by Jamie Alley, who's uh, here representing the province of British Columbia and the Ministry of Environment, be followed by Bruce Watkinson, uh, who's going to talk about the, uh, from his perspective, the, uh, the First Nations uh, interest in this and will be followed by Wayne Moore, who is not Mimi Breton. I want to be very clear, she was unable to come, so you're going to hear from Wayne instead, um, who will talk about the, the DFO take on this. Uh, each of them has 10 minutes, and I know they're going to respect that time limit. And please develop questions, because at the end of hearing from everybody, we'll, we'll take those questions. So let's start out with uh, Al Huddleston. Al, I'll, I'll just say, um, has been in and out of politics for a long, long time. We met each other, I think, 15 years ago in a terrestrial planning process on Vancouver Island. He's presently the chair of the regional district of Mount Waddington. So, Al. Thanks, Gord. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And um, I also would like to uh, thank the Musqueam for allowing us to share this time together on their traditional lands. I've uh, been asked to speak on behalf of the regional districts in the affected study area in the Pensima area. And one thing you have to appreciate is uh, oftentimes local governments, regional districts, have a tough time coming to agreement on anything. Uh, but one thing we all are in agreement in, on in this process, going into this process, is we recognize the great value of it the necessity for it. We've been calling for a, pro a process for years. Uh, it looks like now we're finally getting to that point where we're moving forward. And uh, we have great hopes that at the end of it all, um, all of the goals and objectives that have been alluded to by the previous speakers will be met to all, you know, to everybody's benefit. The, um, I'm going to just basically speak to, to three issues uh, that uh, the affected regional districts have come to an agreement on and basically take this as our position moving forward, understanding that we fully support and want to participate as a level of government in the process. Number one, this initiative should divide the Pensima area, study area, into three parts. The North Coast, the Central Coast, and the South Coast. This will provide an opportunity for meaningful participation by local governments, communities, and stakeholders in the development of this integrated management plan. Second item is we want work to carry, as we work to carry out the initiative, it must be based in the largest community centers in each of the three sub areas so that First Nations and community governments plus other interested stakeholders can more readily participate in the process. It, makes absolutely no sense to us to have these forums on an ongoing basis held in Vancouver, Richmond. Um, the mechanics of getting people who ought to and want to participate to us to these forums in, this, uh, in the lower mainland is very, very difficult and onerous and would preclude the participation of a lot of people who have a vested interest and a lot to contribute to this process. And the last thing that the three, or the, uh, the RDs agreed on, is that local governments must be provided with funding by the federal government from the commencement to the completion of this initiative in order to have fi the financial resources to participate in a meaningful and effective manner. This is absolutely critical, and it's a similar situation that we are in as, to, as, as our other groups represented here today. 
and those groups who hope to participate. The, uh, the regional districts affected here, starting on the south, or the Comox, or the, pardon me, the region, Strathcona Regional District, moving north is Mount Wadding, Regional District of Mount Waddington, up to the Central Coast Regional District. We have the Skeena Queen Charlotte's Regional District, and the Kimnet Kitimat Stakeen. And we uh, will be working closely uh, and watching closely uh, as this process carries on, providing assistance to each other and to other groups in our areas working together to achieve the desired result. We have a bit of a fear that this process has the potential to go on for three, four, five years. I hope that's not the case. Um, Gord referenced that we had cross paths in a number of years ago, and that was uh, when he was a facilitator coordinator under the, the core process, the Commission on the Resources and Environment that the province initiated in late 80s, early 90s. And there was just a tremendous amount of time, energy, and money spent in trying to reach a consensus at, these tab at the table. At the end of the day, it's debatable as to how successful it was, but what it did do is it brought all the diverse groups together in the spirit of cooperation, sometimes achieved, sometimes not. And this forum perhaps has that same potential, but I think as, as the years have passed, I think we've all got a little smarter, a little wiser. And I hold a great hopes that, that this will work and can work. If it's going to fail, it's because we let it fail. And I don't want to see that happen. Over the next couple of days, I, I know there's going to be a lot of interesting discussion and thoughts brought forward. Uh, we've got uh, Des Nobles, who's a regional director from the Central Coast here, known to many of you. He's going to be around for the, through the process. We've got Stan McLennan, who's a councillor from the District of Port Hardy. And um, we've got a representative from the Union of BC Municipalities uh, here sort of just observing. Um, I'm going to probably have the shortest speech here because I basically said what I came to say, but I, I, I really want, want to just let you know that local government want to be, will be, and must be at the table and working with you all. Thank you very much.